Uh, welcome to Ken's Fishing and Cooking Channel. This is Ken. Uh, today I'm on my bigger boat, 16 footer. I've got my new engine on it. It's running pretty darn good. And uh, we're going to take a trip up the river and uh, see if we can catch some fish. So hang on. I have anchored up on the river here and uh, we're gonna put some baits out I brought some worms with me I brought some shot uh, not shiners but minnows and I brought some uh, shrimp so we're at this little uh, little easeway here I'm gonna throw back there where the current isn't as bad and we're in a pretty deep spot I'm think thinking it's about 15 to 20 feet deep here. So uh, hopefully we could catch some catfish. So hang tuned. Stay tuned and we will be uh, right there. They're out here. I just heard another one. And it looks like I might be getting a bite. I don't know. Yes, I believe I am getting a bite right there. Perfect size eater, eater catfish that just got away. Ah! Well, my camera went off, but I just caught this good catfish right here. Uh, caught him on a worm on a small hook. All right, we got the line out. Let's put him in the live well, and uh, we'll be having some supper. Some catfish nuggets soon. My uh, batteries on my camera died, so uh, I caught a big fish, and it's my personal best uh, flathead on the river here, uh, Mogi. Check this out. How big he is in my chair. Let's see, let's measure him. All right, so there's 22 inches. So he's about 24, 25 inches. Let's put him in the live well with the other one that we caught. Heading back to the river after uh, we had a pretty good day yesterday, but I didn't get everything on film like I would like to. I was having battery problems with my cameras and the boat, but I've charged up all the batteries for the cameras and I fixed the electrical problem with the boat. So we're going to go back out there again today and 
Uh, hopefully we'll have just as good a time as we did yesterday and get it all on film. And you can tell it's a nice fall day here in Georgia. Uh, it's going to be about 1 o'clock when I get out there on the water. And we'll spend about three hours out there. Uh, hopefully we'll catch something, uh, something good again. So stay tuned and uh, we'll be right there. All right, we're back on the river now. Got the uh, engine off and the uh, anchor down. Every time I've been coming out in my boat, I've been having a lot of trash and I had to clean it out. So what I did was I took one of these uh, tidy cats, cat litter thing, and put a bag in it, and that will be my boat trash can. Everybody needs one. And fix up this other pole here. Got one. Let's see what we got. It's a decent one. Yeah, it's a little eater. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's perfect. Perfect little fryer right there. He stabbed me, but that's him. Got one. It's another good size eater. might be a blue. It's pretty. Got rainbows of colors in them. Roger, if you're watching, I think I'm having a pretty good day at the river. Again, 
Look at that. It's got some purple and blue. Uh, it might be a blue. I don't know. Guys, is this a blue or a channel cat? He's telling you, he's telling you it's like an... All right, the battery went dead when I was showing you that catfish that I just caught. But uh, we plugged it up into the boat battery so we don't have that problem again. Now let's uh, stick a couple more worms on and stick it right under the boat where I caught that one and see what happens next. like we've got the other two same size same looks he's talking to you he says uh, please like and subscribe big for that bucket. Oh. So there he is. A nice one. Let's put him in the live well. Well guys, that's going to do it for our time on the river. Uh, it's 4 o'clock, so it's going to start getting dark. And I have to go home and uh, cook up some of these catfish. So uh, hang tight, and uh, we'll be there shortly.
at my house and uh, I have uh, made some fish nuggets out of the uh, catfish uh, that we caught yesterday, the flathead, and uh, we're going to cook those for, for supper. Oh, I got this big old bag of them. Alright, to uh, make our uh, fish coating we're going to use uh, some self rising cornmeal. It is stone ground, yellow. That's about the best kind you can get for fish. We're going to use that. We're going to mix it with some of each. Slap your mama, slap your mama. To spice it up and see how, how it does. You get it around in there. Get it nice and coated, just like that. And I think that oil is hot enough. Yep, perfect. or the tater logs. Alright, there we have it. Some uh, catfish, some tater logs, I got some tartar sauce, and some ketchup right there. No. I didn't fix that puppy.